Andrea D. Edwards here, coming back to give you um, a review of the previous video entitled Top 100 Baby Names. Um, I just want to show you what that hard work may entail um, in real life. So the person's website, I believe her name is Michelle, and they call her Mitch. Top 100 baby names search.com. And I showed you the traffic she was getting. Let's look at this closer. Top 100 baby names search. Their estimate for June of 2015 is 113,000. For May, it was only 76,000. April of 2015, 53. I believe it goes back one full year. So one full year ago would be June of 2014. They estimate her traffic was 36,341. So this is her highest month yet. Okay, and how long did it take her to get to that point? Let's see. A way that you can check a website's original start date and possibly the owner. I like checking with who is under the networksolutions.com option, but GoDaddy and other people offer it also. So I'm on Network Solutions, the who is search. Top 100 baby names search.com. And Okay, she is with Sitesell. The original creation date was September 25th of 2006. And the last updated date, that's not always accurate, but they have August 2014. But she originally started this in 2006. It is 2015. That is almost nine years ago. Now, how much work she's put in each year, each month since then, I don't know. That's left up to you, how quick you want to work it. Let's also see how many pages she currently has listed in Google, indexed, can be found. Not how many she has created, because the number that you create and the number that Google actually indexed and shows is going to be different for the most part for the entire length of owning your website. They drop pages, they add them back, they don't list all of them, so it's a lot of ranges. But how you can find that out, site, colon, and then the name of the site, top 100 baby names search. Dot com. And this will tell you how many pages a website has indexed. 564. So from 2006 up until now, I don't know how many each year again, but she has created 564 pages that Google found worthy enough to index in their search engines. This will give you an idea of the names, and she's not just focusing on the baby names. She has things that pregnant mothers want to know about. Baby bouncers, those are helpful. You can't walk around all day holding a baby. Um, baby onesies. So she has more than just the baby's names. Baby strollers, other things that they find interesting on the site. But every page, let's just go to this one randomly. Baby quilt. Every page also has that site sell option. Well, no, actually it doesn't. Or does it? No, she doesn't. Well, mine will. Every single page, you'll be referred back to site sell to start your own. But she's also an affiliate. These are affiliate links. If you purchase a baby quilt by clicking on this link, going to whatever site it's going to go to, which is most likely Amazon, which is what I will be using. Love Amazon. She gets a percentage of that. There are many different ways that you can just to see if it does. Oh, first she gives you the reviews, even better. 
and then yes is Amazon you can add it to your shopping cart this quilt $53.94 wow she has it right on her site see she's more advanced than me I don't even know how to do this stuff yet you don't have to if you sign up for Amazon affiliates they can give you a link where as soon as you click on it it takes you directly to their site to purchase and that's probably the way I'll be doing it because that to me was too many clicks to get over to Amazon one and done Amazon is a master at getting people to purchase and you don't just get a commission off of this one quilt if I go on here and say okay well I have the quilt what about the crib if I purchase my crib commission for both there's a lot of ways you can make money online and at home but this was not a quick process for her I just wanted to show you this was her highest month but she's been online since 2006 and she has 564 pages listed in Google and just to give you some more other numbers that brainstorm just so you can compare it to real life I want to show you how I do it these numbers that they give you are virtual numbers let's go back to the Mexican baby names yeah Mexican girl names or Mexican baby girl names I go over to I go over to um Google's keyword research tool and I see what their real number is what their searches are for that particular keyword I try to choose one that has a real monthly global search not global usually I put in US but a real monthly search of a thousand or more because you want to get enough people coming or searching that even if you're not number one on Google for that particular keyword they may want to choose you because of your title if you have a snatchy snatchy catchy snazzy title they'll still click on your page over what might be on page one because I know from past experience baby center can be a little overwhelming if you're looking for a straightforward answer and all of their opinions for the most part are from other mothers which is not bad but you get a lot of extra some time with them okay Mexican baby girl names let's see what Google says the monthly search for that is Do, 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 do. Okay, under keyword ideas, then you scroll down. 1300. And they say it's low competition on AdWords, which means, you, and if you hover over this, it'll show you monthly. So it spikes in January. I hope you know most people get pregnant or find out they're pregnant in January after the New Year's celebration. That's why most children, the most popular birthday is October 5th, which is my birthday, which is like 40 weeks after getting pregnant on New Year's, if you do calculations. So yeah, I'm going to have a page on my set about Mexican baby girl names, even though that's not my main focus page. So compare the numbers that you get from Brainstorm It in... Google's keyword planner as well so that will give you more of a real number so this one works out well but some of them don't if you see a real supply of one or two and then it's a high number here you may go to Google and it'll be a ridiculously low number let's see if I can find one for you really quickly I don't want any of the videos to be more than 10 minutes let's see most unique girl names pretty comparable to the other one right most unique girl names what does Google say about that what's the supply for that monthly most unique girl names oh, it doesn't like when you do it too close back to back but unique girl names period is 110,000 so the most unique might be a good number this video may go more than 10 minutes but if you're interested you're still watching if not you've probably already clicked off okay most unique girl names 590 I wouldn't necessarily create a page for that because I'm looking for a thousand or more but you may find it it's okay 
it's it works for you. You'll take that a percentage of that five ninety and run with it. You can do better and more with it. That's just it. You're putting your own spin on it, your own turn, your own flavor. You're attracting the people that are attracted to you. And the more you put out there, the more you're gonna find. The least or the less you put out there, the harder it's gonna be to get to the point where you're actually making money and to stay home. Well, not to stay home. That's what I'm saying. I don't stay home. That's the problem. <laughs> You go. When them kids get older, you're going to school, you're going to sports, you're going to camps. You go. And fitting in a 40-hour a week job for someone else is just crazy. You want to be able to control your time a little better. So that's what my goal and purpose is for what I am doing. I hope this helps. So it's not easy, it's not quick, but it can be as quick as you can produce. You can produce 500 pages in a year. And they're all keyword focused and, and using the tools and, and the proper length of words and adding pictures and links and references. Go for it. I am being encouraged again. Just wanted to give you a real life accurate look behind the scenes on what it takes to make enough money to stay at home. Good luck.